At eight o'clock in the morning, on the coldest day of the year, our boiler broke down. He was making loud, booming noises. We had a look inside here. It wasn't, wasn't firing, okay, and we had an error code. So we switched it off and checked on the Worcester Bosch website for the error code, which was EA, which said we had a frozen condensate pipe. Okay, if you have a condensing boiler, if you come here, you can see this pipe here is water. And the error code said that this was frozen. So we spent three hours trying to defrost the pipe because the pipe, this is the first floor, the pipe goes all the way down the outside of the house. And after three hours, we gave up and we called the engineer. So the engineer came, saw the error code and said, you've got a frozen condensate pipe. So we said, well, we spent the last three hours trying to defrost it. And he said, it's so cold outside that as soon as you defrost it, it freezes again. Plus, the way our pipe has been installed, we've got two horizontal runs. Very, very difficult to stop it freezing up again. So what he gave us was a temporary fix. What you need for this is a bucket. Okay. He disconnected the condensate pipe. All right. So it goes into the bucket. But he said what you need is a compression joint and a little bit of overflow pipe to, put, to enable to put the bucket on the floor. So that's what this is. This is a compression joint. So you slip, you slip that up there and the washer on there. Like that. This is the overflow pipe. Obviously, you have to keep emptying the bucket, so it's a temporary fix. But a long-term fix for our situation is we need a wider condensate pipe outside and also we need to insulate it. 